Hi, guys. Welcome back to Finding Your Indie. I'm Bonnie Paulson. And I'm Mandy Stevens. And we are here today with another brand spotlight. This one's going to be a little different because we actually had a specific question come from the author that we're going to be spotlighting. We're doing Nova Blake. Thank you so much, Nova, for reaching out to us. Nova has a question, and I'm going to read the question, and then we're going to dive into the spotlight. As you know, if you want to have us look at your work and tell you what you're doing with your brand or look at your ad account audit, there are links down below and you can sign up and we would love to have you or your brand on the show. The show. (laughs) That makes us sound like we're a friends episode. Okay. So (laughs) Nova's question is, I have a bunch of books that aren't currently up on any store that I want to rework. And I have a hard time knowing where to split my list if I was to create another pen name. So we're going to be talking about the books that she has up where we think if we think that they're in the correct genre and then to kind of be like, Hey, if you're going to write in these genres, yes, you can put it under this name, anything else. No. Does that sound about like what we're going to do? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to share screen. Okay. Here we are. I just did a fast search for Nova Blake before I started the call with Mandy. I didn't look at her stuff and we are actually going to dive into actually her author thing. I'm going to move our face over here again because I'm sharing the screen and it shows where we are. Okay. So Mandy, can you see what she's seeing? What, can you see everything? Yes. Okay. We're just going to look at where I'm actually going to skip the the bio. We're going to skip this list of these. We're going to actually move down to the books. These are sorted by popularity, meaning her more popular books are on top. So we have Courting Envy. It says a Sons of Satan novel. Then we have How the Marquis Found His Meow. Okay. I love that title. That's really cute. Me too. It looks like, looks like we have some kind of a is that like a splicer or it looks like a historical shifter romance to me okay. historical shifter romance okay um then this one is a retelling it says and then this one is the royal celestials book so we have book nine and so we have book nine in the top four we have a book one which is in the top four which is really that's really promising actually and this one just says it's part of the monsters ball series so i'm not sure where that one n- number is Queen of Disaster, Seeker of the Gods, Ebony Ascends, that's book three. These all look, I mean, I'm assuming that we're talking paranormal romance. Is that what you're getting? Yeah, 100%. Okay, so. I mean, when I first saw the historical one, I was like, whoa, that is like way out. But then I saw the cat head and like, okay, it's not that way out. Yeah, it's not that way out. It's kind of cute, actually. It it is kind of cute, but. I don't know. It's still a lot different than the other ones. Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's because I usually, because if this is one where it's like the guy is a cat all the time, that's more of a monster style, which she does have it called um, a Regency monster romance. Mm-hmm. And usually you see that with like monster and alien romance writers. You don't usually see that with paranormal. So I think that's kind of what we have to figure out here is, is she writing Dark, just like straight up dark romance with some kind of a paranormal or magical twist. That's cool. That is, that's a thing. That's, that's a good brand. Um, but if she's writing sci-fi romance and she's throwing monsters in here and she's writing paranormal and she's writing like, that's a really big broad mm-hmm. so far. So far. Will you, think- will you click on the monster ball? Cause I want to see if it's several authors or yeah, just her. Absolutely. Let's go in and look. So the series is Nova. You're right. It's different authors. Okay. Okay. So that's, so maybe that's why. Okay. Yeah. Um, Which is great. Like that's, these are all different authors. I too. mean, but mon- monsters aren't that far from paranormal romance. Right. They're just Especially not. Especially if they're steamy. You're right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So let's. I mean, so far everything looks really good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go down a little bit. I love these covers. Those are awesome mm-hmm. looking. And I like the hexes and vexes. That's cute. Wow, man. I want to want to read these. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I bless. That looks really good. Oh, I know, that's not it out looks really good. Yeah. The only thing that yeah, I'm finding yeah. concerning is the reviews aren't aren't that great. I mean, like. I mean, they're not bad. They're just not enough. Yeah, there's not enough of reviews. Them. This one, she got a good, nice, big chunk of reviews here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to actually look at the ranking. So let's scroll down and look and see what the ranking is. These are Kindle Unlimited. So if, okay, so Romantic Fantasy, this was out in 2022. Okay, so I'm thinking, um, let's go look at the series. This one might be, why won't it let me? There we go. I just want to see the series page. Let me see. It won't, 
why won't it let me go to the series page? There we go. These are yeah, different these draw authors different too. authors too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what we're seeing is a bunch of, let's go in and look and see what another one is, because this is why I always tell people you're writing these books for these like co collaborations and these things, which is fine, but you need to be working on, cause see like this, this one's a collaboration and it has 184 reviews. This one's 109 reviews and it's a collaboration. Mm -hmm. But when it's books that are written by yourself, let's look and let's go and look is at these. It, ones. Yeah. I'll say, is that one fantasy? I just a second. Oh, so these are all different another... authors as well. Okay. Okay. So, so just like right out of the gate, I honestly feel like this author is not, um, so Nova, sorry, this, I'm, I'm going to be blunt. Mandy, you can tell me if I'm being right or if I'm wrong or whatever, like, tell me what you think. I feel like this brand isn't actually identified as a clear brand because the top three books that in the, you know, these top ones right here are all series with other people. You actually aren't yeah. able to build your own brand because you're working on building with other people. Right. That makes it really difficult. And I understand why some people do it. But... I get it. Yeah. But these are three different things. I mean, these are three yeah. very distinct. Like we're both like, is that fantasy? Different genre. Yeah. Yeah. They're, totally they're different, different genres. Genre. And they're in your top four sellers. Like yeah. that's kind of a big deal. So these ones yeah, don't like, have. Those are super beautiful. cute. Yeah. yeah. She needs to work on that brand. Secret of the Gods. But this one? That looks good too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that one looks really cool. Is it part of a series? It doesn't say if it's a series or not. And hey, yeah, I'm all two for books people. in it. Okay. There's... Where's the second book? I don't see it. Uh, I don't know. We go, go on up. Okay. Where it says one or two. Book okay, one or two. Yeah. I'm like, huh, I'm not used to them doing these weird. Okay. Yeah. It's so book two is just not out yet. Or book maybe it is even on pre-order. Maybe it was out and it, it oh yeah, scary. this is Queen of Disaster. Okay, so double check. This is a prequel. Okay, so um, Nova, really quick. I want you to go in and I want you to put the prequel as book one. Book one that you have marked now is going to be book two because nobody's going to start with your prequel because they don't see it. It's just seen as like a related two series. It's unfortunate. Can't you put it as book zero now? Oh, if you can do that, do yeah. that. But unless that's what this did, because it does say prequel. See, I I wouldn't, if it was me and I was selling them on Amazon, I would do everything to make sure it shows up on the series page. So I'd be like, yeah, no, prequel's sure. now number one. Book two is now, or book one is now number two, right? Mm -hmm. I I feel like putting out these other books uh, in these collaborations is kind of muddying the waters for what your brand expectation is. And I get it. I really love the idea of collaborating with authors sometimes because I think it's, you know, great, great being seen and stuff. But usually... If you're not like in the first one or two, you're not getting the sales and stuff. You know, you should be working on yours. Not just, yeah, just not that. I was going to say, you need to be concentrating your writing efforts on building your own brand. It's Agreed. one thing if you have like 10 to 15 books in a series and then you go do a collaboration. But if you're not. Right. I mean, she does. Okay. So that's a novella. This that's is coming out. Order. That's really yeah. cute. Yeah, it is cute. It's really cute. I love the way this one looks. So okay, looks so she like, has a she does have a monster series here, right? Does it is it hers though? Let's look. The monster, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, she has book one and book two. Looks like it might be on pre order. Okay, I'm looking this second. Book two isn't. It looks like maybe it was on pre order and I had a series and then maybe she took mm -hmm. it out down. What's yeah, happened? she needs to. She needs to concentrate on getting reviews. Yeah, okay. and yeah, another needs... thing too would be, um, I, I'm looking and I like this monster book has really great reviews. Mm -hmm. So I, you know me, I don't, I don't believe in like stalking our reviews. I don't believe in that, but I do know that if it's something where it's like, gosh, am I? Why am I not making sales? If you go to the reviews and you actually dig through them, it'll tell you what you're doing right. And it'll tell you right. what you're doing wrong. Like the readers, people say, oh, just write the book for you and whatever. But if you are trying to make money with this, you've really got to be paying attention to the customers and the customers mm -hmm. are readers. So if you're hitting, I mean, you know, this is, this is great, but something you're not hitting something with your 20 reviewers. There's a four star is might even be less than four star. Let me go in and look. Yeah. 
because I mean, four stars is not bad. No, 4.1. It's 4.1 out of five. That's great. That's yeah. totally great. And I'm, and I'm not it, saying, Hey, but it's like, what? Yeah, are and you- if there were a lot more reviews, that one star that's there wouldn't even matter. Exactly. You know exactly. So, yep. Yeah, you can't right. please everybody, but yeah, you she can't. needs to focus her marketing efforts and building her brand. But she's, she says she has a lot of books uh-huh. that she has not published yet. Right. So, so I'm that was wondering what, I'm wondering what genre they are. Okay. So here's my thing. This is what I think. Since she's established her collaboration with the other one, Nova Blake might be her, we would call it dark romance books. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Dark romance books. They can have a thing of, it does look like they're paranormal or they have some kind of a paranormal twist to them. Fantasy twist. Um, The thing that's that you have to for sure have some kind of a fantasy or monsters in here is the marquee found his meow. And then it's Red so Run cute. is it's so cute. <laughs> it's and so then cute. Red Run Red or whatever, Run mm-hmm. Red, Red Run. This one is a monster book as well. I'm assuming yeah. this one's going to be as well, something like that, because it looks witchy. That, yeah, that looks witchy for sure. Yeah. So if you're, I would think this is me, Mandy, you go ahead and chime in. Um, as you will, I'm glad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would think monsters and paranormal romance would not do, I would not include shifters because you're the cat meow. That's more of a monster, not a, a shifter. So I would stick to like the monsters and like the dark paranormal style, maybe the dark magic, something like that. I would not go and do, I wouldn't add anything else to this specific pen name. So right. If you have like steamy contemporary, no, not on this pen name. If you and that's just it. We we're not sure what the what the genre is of your other books, mm-hmm. but I do think you should be building this pen name and stop doing collaborations and start really honing in and getting a nice fat series going. So there was that seven book series. Which one was it? The cat one, and that's part of eleven books, and it has one hundred eighty four reviews. So that tells you that readers really want something that they can stick with, right? So a nice big fat fat list, I would think, wouldn't you? Like a nice big fat series or a, a catalog that they can actually be like, yes, this is what I, I've yeah. been looking for. That's what I would think. So if you can maybe even push on to uh, the envy of all book, it, that looks like it's, I mean, book when book one is a really good seller, that's that means that your marketing efforts are going towards that book. That means that you're counting on read through. And it looks like your read through is probably pretty good because book two went to 20 reviews. Mm-hmm. Out of from 53 and then 13. So I'm betting that this series is pretty strong. Could be stronger if you put more marketing and you had more books in it, maybe. I haven't read the books, but the covers are all very well branded. And did we say this one? Where does this one go again? This one was with one of the books. That no, the secret secret the gods. They had I think this she just one. had that one book. Yeah, this one right here. And then Yeah, that's the prequel one. and then. Yeah. See, but okay. those look to- two totally different genre to me. I mean, yeah, I'm like not even see how this one has the trim around it. It should have the same thing. It should have these yeah. things here should be down around here as well. Yeah. It looks like, yeah, like a totally different. And like, some, really I can't, some of the books that are further down. Oh yeah. They look like, I don't know exactly like hexes and vexes looks a little bit lighter to me. And Gemini yes. blessed looking at the covers look a little bit lighter to mm-hmm. me. Agreed. This I, is I cute. Look at these. Is that the monster's ball? Never mind. That's the same one we were just looking at. Taming okay. the Viscount Viper. <laughs> that's cool. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sons of Satan. So, the, oh yeah, that's that other one that was a collaboration. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I agree. I agree with what you're saying. This one. Oh, it looks oh. like she did have a book too. Yeah. And that looks great. I that's mean, that looks really good. nicely. Yeah. That's really cool. Branded. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I would totally pick that. up that series. Yeah, I would read this one. That one looks really good. I but she only has one book. I would probably finish this series. Finish. Mm-hmm. I would finish some series. If you're feeling like, oh, I, I'm just not into it because I'm not making money. Books ones usually don't. You pick the genre where the readers pers- like specifically prefer finished series, or at least a dedication showing you've made it through three books. If yeah. you only got one book and then you pull down your pre-orders, you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, because reader expectation. I mean, and some people just in the genre just do not read it until it's finished. They, they just, just don't. don't. Yeah, that's yeah. just how it is. Like, so if Ebony Slumber series, The Envy of All, is finished, um, make sure that you're putting on it complete series and and also set up a box set. Yes. Ooh, yes, a box that would really help, especially in Kindle Unlimited. Are these in Kindle Unlimited? They don't um, say that they are. Hold on, let's look. That some oh. of them are. Okay, so she's so she's wide with them. That's cool. 
You know how mm-hmm. I feel about wide right now. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Now I want to go in and look, actually look at the thing with that in mind. So her first book is free. So 17,000, I bet with some really strong, um, ads and stuff on this. She's got, I mean, she's got good reviews. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah. So, um, definitely. I mean, there's how- always going to be brats when you have a a, oh, a free book. There's going to be people who are always it's yeah. hilarious. I would fix the formatting on this. Give yourself some more white space. Maybe work on your blurb a little bit. I know it's a free book, but you really want to be really clear on what they're getting because that'll cut down on those more negative reviews. Um, cause you're at 3.8 and that happens. Like Mandy said, that happens with free books. I have a book that had like 4.8 stars until it went free. And then it went down to like 4.1 and it's just, it is what it is. Right? It is those freebie it is, people. Yeah. I don't like this. I got something for free and I don't like it. Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Keep walking. <laughs> it is fine. So, um, but this one, yeah. I mean, if there's, if you could put more books in it, I would definitely have them. Well, let's see how long they are. Cause she's got book one free, um, 134 pages. Okay. So the pricing makes sense. Um, if they're not very long and it's easy for you to write, maybe you can keep adding to the series because three books with one free, you're probably not going to make very much cash on it. I mean, I think that's yeah. pretty fair. Yeah. Yeah. You need at least five, six. Yeah. To have a free book in there. So uh, it's a first in series free when it's wide. I totally support that. I think it's smart. I think it's a really great move. Let's actually look and let's see. Those the covers are so nice. I love the covers. Very eye catching. Okay. These are pretty. Okay. Um, the inside looks really nice. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to click through and see if I can see what the back matter looks like. Come on. Please give me some back matter. No. Okay. It did not let me have back matter. Oh, no. It let me have Amazon's back matter. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Well, I was hoping I could see some back matter on that sucker. I don't know how to close this. There we go. I got it. Oh, my God. What? How do I word today? How do I work the computer? It's fine. Okay. So, I mean, I think I think that's pretty clear. Did we need to clarify that some more like what we think that's the that's the brand that you're going to stick with is like monsters mm-hmm. and paranormal romance like stick with that don't go astray finish some yeah. series that you've got make them longer if you can we totally support the idea of going wide we support going in KU whatever whatever people want to do we totally support it just make sure that you're sticking with something right and actually being consistent so nova go ahead and reach out and um, let us know if you have any questions um your action steps are probably going to be to find out what your readers are expecting from your books and then make sure and if, if you're going to go i would go a little bit longer if you can just because people like meaty books but add on to your series make them make people mm-hmm. like like it's a commitment right and then like mandy said definitely do some box sets if you can do some box sets I, if you have those other books i would be sticking them i would put in as many books as you can and really get your back catalog really growing here because you you've got a nice i mean these covers are beautiful mandy's already downloading the books i think right? <laughs> <laughs> so let us know if you have any questions i think i think hopefully that helps put them in the question put like put your questions in the comments i think is how i say it i don't know yes yeah, so- yeah. And um, <laughs> we'll, and then like, or reach out and let us know what kind of, um, what kind of like genres, your sub genres, your books are that you have done what they are. And maybe we can talk about where you would put those, but I wouldn't put anything in this genre, in this pen name that is outside of like what Mandy, I said, monsters and paranormal, like the steamy, like it looks like you have. So that's what I would say. Mandy, anything you want to add to that? No, I, I, I'd say, I don't, I don't know how steamy some of these look. You I know? know. I just, I don't know how steamy because you look at queen of disaster that looks steamy but you look at some of the other ones they look more kick butt to me anyway yeah the sekmet's desire which is actually supposed to be in the same series as the queen of disaster that one looks more urban fantasy to me oh for sure it looks fantastic so, i would yeah, totally grab that ones, I you what i said i wouldn't grab queen of disaster because i'm an urban fantasy reader but right. i would grab that one and it just them being in the same series is like whoa yeah, it's kind of offsetting a little bit. Um, Ebony Ascends looks like it's kind of sexy to me because of the way she's dressed and the way she looks. Like that series, The Envy of All, looks sexy. This one looks more, like you said, urban fantasy. Most monster books are steamy. Like that's the expectation of that specific readership. So 
I don't know, hexes and vexes. I know it says contemporary witchy fiction. I'm sitting here thinking that sounds more like PWF, right? Like the paranormal yep. women's fiction. And the cover does, like you said, it's a, it was a great point. It lends itself to a very lighter sweet. feel. Yes, a much lighter feel. So I guess it just comes down to um, what exactly the promises that you're making to your reader and if you're delivering on that promise. So yeah, let us know if you have any questions. <laughs> I feel like the answering that question was kind of hard because we don't have all of the variables in place to help us solve this yeah. riddle. So maybe let us know what you've got and um, we will see if we can continue this. That might be a fun one to do a follow-up on. Yep. I agree. All right. all right. So stick with your brand. If you don't know what your brand is, figure it out. We've got a free brand thing down below for any of our viewers who are watching. You just sign up and it takes you through like seven days or something. And it's like, how, you know, are, is your book ready to market? And it actually runs through, is your book ready to market? Is it ready to have money spent on it? Um, again, if you're not sure and you don't want to do the, the free course, that's fine. Join our free Facebook group or sign up for a brand account audit or Brad brand spotlight, whatever we call them now. <laughs> Gosh. And let us know and we can actually do your brand for you. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let us know and um, hit like and subscribe and the bell for notifications. And we are so excited that we got to share Nova's. Thank you, Nova, again. And 